right this is their prices so I only paid eight dollars to get in that's fantastic hey everybody Tom here for Tom's road trip and I'm visiting the Washington Park Zoo this is located in Michigan City Indiana we are very close to Lake Michigan so I guess that's where it gets the name at this zoo originally opened in 1928 and it is very hilly so uh, it's 15 acres they have 90 different species of animal so we're gonna start our walk it's a little bit drizzly so I'm gonna have my umbrella out occasionally as the rain goes by it's not supposed to last all day so it shouldn't interfere with my plans in seeing the animals all right so even though the gift shop is not open today the very nice lady at the service desk went and got me a hat it was $18 and because the price to get in was only $8 that helps fund the zoo and their expansion plans as they are doing some renovating coming up in the future they are trying to raise funds to redo the big cat habitat which is fantastic so we're going to walk around this place they are it's on a big sand dune so there are little paths going all over the place some of the paths are not ADA compliant obviously built in 1928 so they do have wheelchair accessible ramps to go around so everybody can come and enjoy this place not gonna be a lot of people here so the snack shop is not open so I'll be utilizing the vending machines so let's get started all right so this is the map the Washington Park Zoo this is the Wings of Wonder Aviary all right so from outside the Wings of Wonder Aviary you can still see some of the birds got the budgies or parakeets we got a cockatoo in the back making lots of noise you can see some of the other birds People have these as pets. Give them in pet stores, parakeets. All right, get a nice view of the Bengal tigers. I cannot get any closer because the path is blocked. But hey, they're right here. See if you get to see them. What's up, kitty cats? Hello. So they are raising funds to expand the Bengal tiger's habitat, according to the signage that I see. How are you doing, pretty kitty? We love seeing the big cats. All right, next up is Grizzly Bear. So this is the lower portion of the Grizzly Bear habitat. And I happen to look over and there is the Grizzly Bear. Right inside. And next up we got Cougar. And because of the rain currently, I don't think most of the animals are going to be out, but the rain is supposed to be moving on, and I will definitely check back for any animals I don't see it at first. We've got North American River Otter. There's one type of animal I don't think will mind the rain. Yeah, there he is. He's at my upper portion of the water. You can see the otter has a nice slide. Yeah, there's two of them. So 
It's always fun to watch the otters. <laughs> They're having a good time rolling around in each other. Got a blue and gold macaw and a scarlet macaw. This guy was down on the ground and he just climbed up. And there's the blue and gold macaw. Another scarlet macaw down below. Alright, I got a red-tailed hawk. Oh wow. It's a beautiful bird. Very beautiful bird. Alright, so the building attached to the macaws. I'm gonna go inside because it got some other animals in there. And inside we got some black-handed spider monkey. There we go. Came right over to say hello. Oh, he's showing off now. Hanging by his tail. Oh man, yeah. There's the other one up here on the the log just kind of staring at me. We're the first person he's seen visitor wise. just fighting just a second ago. One got a little too close to the other one. Right across now we got a lowly on the paca or paca. Wow these are cute little critters. Got a red handed tamarin. It's got a chicken in here with it. Modern game Bat him. Well, the red painted tamarind came running over. You can see their hands are tan. Stands out against their dark colored fur. They're super cute. Very inquisitive, coming on to, uh, to see me. Hi. And the chickens in here to help control pests, like insects and things like that. All right, outside again, around the back of the building, got a Patagonian cavy. Very cute. Resemble um, capybara in the head, anyway. All right, we got white mute swan. I guess he don't say anything. Hello. Here's some big birds. All right, so normally the zoo has a North American alligator. But because it is a warm weather animal, it's already off habitat because of the cold conditions that are coming up soon. And then we got the barnyard. We got the domestic chickens. Without these ladies, you wouldn't have eggs in the morning for your breakfast. Or dare I see it, fried chicken. And we got domestic goat. And because it is raining, all the goaties are inside of the barn, eating. I don't blame them. I have my umbrella to stay dry. They wouldn't be able to hold one. Now we got Mini Zebu. Hello. We got Kennecoon Pigs. The 
piggy right here. There was a third pig in here, but he went outside. We've got more domestic goats. We got some bunny rabbits. Wow. These fuzzy bunnies. Hi, bunny rabbit. Hi, bunnies. And we got miniature horse. And also a miniature donkey. See the donkey. Miniature horse. What is everybody doing? Hey, don't spit on me, please. Donkey. And then we got Llama. This guy, as I was filming the miniature horse and miniature donkey, he stuck his his nose right in my ear. You gotta be careful around these guys because they can spit on you. Huh, yeah. How fuzzy they are. How are you? We got barn owl. We got two of them up here at the top. So my camera will focus on the birds, not the the mesh. So showing you the map again. I am on the top right, where it says red barn and petting yard. That's where I'm currently at. So I'm going to go check out the arctic fox and porcupine and just work my way around and North American porcupine so I'm gonna try to find them I do see some food on the floor okay, so North American porcupine is in the back and it's box so I will come back to this a little bit later because I do not see the box turtle There's Arctic Fox when I first walked up, he ran off, and I started talking softly, and he came back over. So I just startled him. Hi, sweetheart. You are so cute. They do have a hand washing station if you are touching the animals. I use hand sanitizer after I petted the llamas. All right, ring-tailed lemur. This is a lemur island, I guess. Here we go. Get a little better view. See, we have access to go inside. I don't know if I startled them or what. Again, I'll come back a little bit later. And during springtime, I'm sure this is beautiful. We do have a nice waterfall, a nice rock work, nice photo op. Got a butterfly garden. Of course, it is not butterfly season anymore. It gives you pointers on how to attract butterflies in your own yard. All right, let me go inside this cool looking building. Right, we got a red crested turaco. That's a nice looking bird. Right, we got a Brazilian three banded armadillo. This is the armadillo's habitat. I'm trying to find him. They also have common marmoset that are in the same habitat as the armadillo. As I was looking for the armadillo, I happened to see them up here on the top. Just kind of staring back at me. Alright, so I do not currently see the armadillo. There are lots of spaces where he can go and hide. So I'll try to come back and see if I can find him. 
Now we got a blood python. There he is in the back. Got an American kestrel. Wow. Like the different colorations. Their habitat's even decorated for Halloween. And we got this really nice tank. Well, water conservation is essential. And they got barbs and Corridorus catfish and Danio. So lots of colorful fish. Alrighty, corn snake. There we go. There's two of them in here. Oh, I was wrong. There's three. Got another snakey up here on the top. This guy's got a nice skull for Halloween. We got a fennec fox. Fennec fox has a pumpkin. They are such cute foxes with their big ears. Looks like he's all cuddling up to sleep. Don't want to disturb him. We got an axolotl. Trying to show you where it's not reflecting with the light. We got African side necked turtle. See someone you're trying to get my attention. Alright, it's so in the water by the ringtail lemurs habitat. We got some ducks enjoying the water. We got a Eurasian eagle owl. Wow, that is a magnificent bird. Look at that. And we got a great horned owl. All right. And a turkey vulture. Turkey vulture's got his wings spread out to dry them from the rain. Since the rain has finally stopped. Yeah. Gotta dry out those wings. We got some Harris's hawk. There's the Harris's hawk. Very nice. We do have a kid size safari train, but it is closed. It just goes around in a in a loop. Little kids love the trains. I just happen to see this peacock. I believe it's a peacock. I've never seen colorations like this. Got an observation tower. I believe this is not open either. So the zoo is not flat. It does have some a little bit of a hilly terrain and stairs, but there are handicapped accessible paths if you're not able to take stairs. I'm trying to dry its feathers too. It was like the nice feathers at the top of its head mocking me. Of my lack of hair on top. Yeah. And we got a toiki. 
This guy's going to be very happy around Thanksgiving time that he is safe. Hey, turkey, turkey. These are the birds that are in this particular aviary. We got pigeons. So the East African crown crane with the nice yellow feathers on top. Get a nice duck. Looks like a mallard. Hi, turkey. Turkey came back. How you doing? See all the pigeons all up above. Alright, so showing you the map again. I am near the upper aviary. We just saw the raptors and we were right by the train. We saw the hawks. So I'm going to go check out the fallow deer hill. We got a koi pond. The alligator you see in the center is not a real alligator. It's just decorative. Now I don't see any koi fish. So apparently they are already off habitat. Because when it gets real cold, this water is going to freeze over. You see the ring-tailed lemurs habitat down below. There's a sign up that says this area is being renovated for North American porcupine. Alright, we got some fallow deer. Hi deer. Yeah, most of the deer are on the other side. They have a tad heist, baby. I'm gonna go real slow so I don't scare them. What's up, baby? How you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I was trying to go slow. But they're very skittish in nature. Some people might see these guys in their in their yard, depending on where you live. You got a historic spring well. <laughs> yeah, that's good spring well. You see the springs inside. This place has all different paths. The stonework on the sides. So I'm saying some of these paths are definitely not wheelchair accessible. So there is signage around and arrows pointing to the direction of the different exhibits. All right, bald eagle. They're such magnificent birds. Hello. One's eating something. Awesome birds. You got a gray wolf. Hi, wolfies. What's up? How you doing? Hi. How's everybody doing? You like me some wolfies? Hi, wolf. Hi, wolfies. And they got two separate habitats here for the wolves. Because there's two here on the side. Not sure why they are separated. If it's by male, female, I'm not sure. How's everybody doing? Got the rain coming again, I can feel it. Alright, we got some turkey vulture. We got turkey vultures. And we got some ravens or crows, whichever you want to call them.
Actually, they are two different types of birds. Ravens are larger than crows. Even though they do resemble each other, ravens have a thicker bill. And their tail feathers are different. Alright, so it's the grizzly bear habitat that I saw at the beginning. So I'm in the back portion of it. The grizzly bear is outside. Actually, there's two grizzly bears. That's the one that was inside the little cave. Looks like it's still there. Unless he switched spaces. And we got a bobcat. Alright, so I currently do not see Bob. He's probably inside of his blue barrel there. So I'll swing back around a little bit later, see if I can see him out. There's the back portion of the cougar's habitat that we saw. Still do not see him, but it's still early. See another peacock. This is a male peacock. See why it's great. It's bright coloring. This is a wild bird, does not belong to the zoo. We got a Peacock Cafe, which does not appear to be open today. But I will show you their menu anyway, in case you're here during the day when they are open. All right, directly behind the Peacock Cafe, you got the Discovery Zone entrance. Alright, so we got cotton top tamarind. Let's see, these guys got lots and lots of stuff to climb on. Oh, they are so cute and fuzzy. Wow, look at that. Now, I do have my face mask on because I see other people around. Wowie. So cute. And we got a boa constrictor. One big sneaky. A whole lot of snake. I got some Gila monster. This guy's habitat's all decorated for Halloween. There's our Gila monster in the back. And we got an Amazon tree boa. Sorry about the reflection. We got a Publian milk snake. He's right inside. Go. We got a jungle carpet python. Wow, I love this guy's coloring. That is a fantastic looking snake. We got a blue tongued skink. Blue tongue skink is right underneath. Oh, okay. I got a Sudan planted lizard. This guy's got all decorations in his habitat. He's right there. I see his head sticking out. Nice and cozy in his rock. All right, I got a Saharan Euromastix. Too. I want to wake the animals up. Get a western rat snake. Good. All right, we got a ball python. And there's two of them I see in this habitat. This one's moving around. The other one that its name suggests is in a ball on the bottom. A lot of people have these as pets. Ball pythons are easier to manage because they don't grow too big. Whereas a reticulated python starts out small and they get to be really, really big. The jungle carpet python is up moving around. Well, his head is anyway.
fantastic color reading. A lot of people don't like snakes, but I do. I like them. Let me get a white tree frog. He's right here in the bottom. I'm trying to show him to you so it's not reflecting. Here we go. Got a western hognose snake. He's here just moving around. That's a cute little snake. So your average length is two to three feet. So this is a little small snakey. There are restroom locations right around the back of the building and seating for one of the food restaurant is open. And from the covered seating area, you get a really nice view of the fallow deer habitat. Looks like they were just delivered some some food. They're all around it eating. Peacock came up here too. Followed me up. I'll be looking for food. It's a lower portion of the gray wolf habitat. You set up from the path up above. They do have access to go to their indoor habitat also or their nighttime enclosure. Oh, you're such beautiful animals. Makes me miss my dogs back at home. Anytime I go on my road trips, I always miss my doggies. Huh. Pretty wolf, aren't you? Yeah. All right, we got African lion. So the African lion. Their path to get closer is closed. But you can see you got a male and a female in there. Trying to get a little bit closer. I've got a spur-thighed tortoise. But he's going back maybe to his enclosure. Maybe not. This guy's got a lot of space to move around. I do see another shell inside that shed. So he's not the only one in there. All right, we got Grant's zebra. There we go. Right, this one's having some lunch. A couple more over here. I think I started him because he just started the run, but then he stopped right away. Right at the Australian walkabout exhibit. One of my favorite bird species, laughing kookaburro. I just like the shape of them. Especially when they're doing their noising. Or especially when they're doing their noise. And they've got a laughter, which is what they get their name at. Yes, right here we got a Bennett's wallaby. An Australian emu. To make a loud thumping noise with their throat, you might hear occasionally. That's completely normal. Good, pretty bird. These guys are related to the ostrich. It's the wallaby. Hippie hopping. I'm 
while the workers are cleaning up the habitat. Another Bennett's wattle bee in the back. They're so cute when they hop. So both Bull Black and Kookaburro are up front now. Looks like I've shown both to you. All right, so I made my initial walk around the property. There was a few animals that I did not get to see. A couple of them, I think, are off habitat, like the alligator. I mentioned as a we're at the habitat, warm-blooded. They can't have it in a cold environment. It's almost October weather starts getting a lot cooler. You can see I'm wearing my jacket because it's in the mid 60s up here right near Lake Michigan. The cool breeze off the lake comes in and the breeze makes it feel even colder. All right, so I do see the cougar in the back. There we go. Just put some food out. So it can come out as it wants to. This is right near the front. So I will check back here last thing before I leave to see if he's out walking around. Nice dude than one grizzly bear. That's the one that was sleeping outside. The other one has barely moved. Get it? Barely. <laughs> I got a hell going. Like I said, they are raising funds to update the habitats here for the big cats. And you see from the looks of it, they desperately need to be updated. Alright, so I'm on the path right behind Wallaby Walkabout. They're scratching and grooming. So this place just has, like I said, all different paths, places to sit down, we're out in the wilderness. So some of these paths are kind of dilapidated, but there is signage here that says uneven terrain, watch your step. Lots of nice benches to sit down. Of course you wouldn't want to sit down on it today with it being raining, unless you don't mind a wet behind. And right, I came back to the porcupine's habitat. Trying to see the box turtle, but the box turtle is still absent. It doesn't mean he's not in here. We can get a better view of the porcupine. So now that the rain has stopped, the farm animals are out. You see the the goaty goats are in their play yard, right next to the chickens. It looks like all the lemurs are still inside. I did try to see him again. At least we did get a view of the one. Turkey vulture still got its wings open. Guess they're not dry enough. But then again, it did rain a little bit again. But this guy does have access to go underneath where it doesn't rain. You look through the trees, you can see the top of the tower. Unfortunately, the tower is not accessible right now. All right, back in the front, there's the one grizzly bear that was in a little cave the whole time. 
You can see the other grizzly bear over here. But he finally came out of his little cave. Nice to see him. And you see the size of their claws. Grizzly bears are very dangerous out in the wild. All right, so last thing I'm here in the cougar habitat again. And the cougar did not want to come out. It is their choice. But I did get a, a bit of a view for you. All right, everybody, that was my visit to Washington Park Zoo in Michigan City, Indiana. I had a fantastic time. I loved the rock work and the paths all over the place. You had a nice selection of animals. Like I said, they are doing renovating work. Hopefully, once they raise enough funds for the big cats to have a suitable habitat built for them so they're not in um, cage looking. It'd be a more natural habitat. So this was a nice zoo, not a huge zoo, but they did have a nice selection of animals. I enjoyed myself. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. That lets me know you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I did get my hat. If you're familiar with my channel, I do always get hats. So I was happy I was able to get a hat. The lady at the entry point helped me out a lot for that. So thank you. And if you would like to leave a comment down below, I always return comments. I love hearing from people. Let me know you are enjoying it. Comments, questions, concerns, suggestions, as long as they are nice. I have had people that were less than cordial about it. Like if I mispronounce something, I do like to learn how to say something properly. If I mispronounce a word, uh, leave a timestamp. Or if you have comments about a certain animal, leave a timestamp. You basically just type out the time of the video using the decimal point and the numbers so that way I'll know exactly what portion of the video you are speaking about. So thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I upload new videos every Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do have lots more videos coming up throughout the end of the year. Uh, so I am hoping 2021 is gonna be a little bit better as far as the pandemic goes. And I'll be able to go to more places and more areas will be open. So anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.